In this video, I will show you how to set up a Vision Hawk smart camera on a Siemens Profinet IO PLC using Somatic Step 7 Manager. On my screen, I've opened up the Somatic Manager and have connected to my PLC. The PLC has been pre-configured to work with these IO systems, but no Profinet IO devices have been connected yet. So the first step is to go to the Hardware Manager by double-clicking on Hardware. And here you will see my Siemens CPU, but without any outside connections. The internal I.O. has been configured before. So the first step is to go to Options, Install GSD File. We can install the GSD file that was installed with AutoVision. In order to find it, we need to browse for it. And we go to the Microscan folder, VisionScape, Firmware, GSD, VisionHawk. Hit OK and we find the GSDML file that belongs to the Vision Hawk. If we double click on it and hit install, we do want to install it. I obviously already have it on my system, so if you are the first to install it, you will not get this message. In my case, I press yes twice, and I have successfully installed the Vision Hawk GSD file, which means that the management software will be able to find the Vision Hawk in its database. So, in order to connect to a Vision Hawk, we will need a Profinet I.O. system. We click the Profinet I.O. network here, right click, and then say Insert Profinet I.O. System. And then we can set the IP address, which in my case is alright. I'm directly connected to my PC, so I do not use a router, and I will need to add a subnet, and I will call it Profinet I.O. Hit OK, and hit OK again. And there is our Profinet I.O. system. As the next step, we will need to add the Vision Hawk. For that, you go to the Siemens catalog and actually look for Vision Hawk. There it is. So all you need to do is grab the Vision Hawk and pull it into the Profinet I.O. subsystem. It's now connected to the system. We can right click on the device and select Object Properties. And here we can set the device name. It's important that the device name on the Vision Hawk matches what you use in Profinet. So the best thing to do is to name it exactly as it is in AutoVision. So in my case, that's 113CB9. And we can also set the Ethernet port by giving it the proper IP address, which is 50 in my case. Hit OK and OK again. So now the system has been configured. So I can compile it and I can download it to the Vision Hawk. Hit OK. Select the CPU and hit OK. And now I want to restart the PLC. The PLC is now in run mode, and if things went well, there are no red failure lights on the PLC, and your Vision Hawk is ready to be used. In order to see values on the Vision Hawk, what you can do is go online and select the Vision Hawk. And here you will find the available variables. So from bottom to top, the microscan link values, virtual I.O. and command, and device status fields. So we want to look at the status of my Vision Hawk. I right click, do monitor modify, and hit monitor. And here you can see the camera is happily running and working. So this is what you need to do to import a Vision Hawk into your Profinet I.O. system. There are some tips and tricks that might be helpful. I would say the most important one is that if your Vision Hawk doesn't start and your PLC is giving you failure codes, or there are bus failures on your PLC, the most likely cause is a mismatch between the name of your device set in AutoVision and the name of the device set in the Siemens environment. There's an option to check that. So if you go offline and you select PLC, Ethernet, Verify Device Name, the Siemens system will check what the name is of your device on the network and what the actual name is in Profinet I.O. If they match, everything's all right. If they do not match, you will have the ability to assign a name here. Or alternatively, you can go to AutoVision and change the device name to match the Profinet system there. So another troubleshooting tip I would like to show you is not in the Hardware Manager. It's in the Somatic Manager. And there's a tool that shows you what nodes are accessible on the Profinet I.O. network. If you're looking for a certain camera, this tool will help you to see which devices are accessible. Right now, I have my Profinet I.O. system, which basically is the controller, and a single Vision Hawk. 
I double click on the Vision Hawk. It will tell you what the device name is, what the MAC address is, and what the IP address is. This way, you can detect whether or not the devices that you think are visible online are really visible online. This is what I have to tell you about connecting a device to Profinet I.O. using the Somatic Manager. We now want to view the data on the Vision Hawk. So I'll go to Online Mode in the PLC, select the Vision Hawk, and if I open up my screen, you can see the MicroScan link values in this table. The values we're using for the count tool are integer in and integer out. So what I'll do is display the status fields. And I will monitor those. Then I'll display the count values. And I'll monitor them. And I'll display the set points for the counter. And display them here. So now we can see by the status flags that the camera is online and running. And we can see that the counter outputting integer 1 is counting 6 characters. We can also see that the tool fails in auto vision because the set points are not correct. So now what I'll do is go to the set point values and set both the minimum count, which is in microscan link integer 101, and the maximum count, which is in microscan link integer 102. If I set both values to 6 and modify them, we can see that the values have been updated on the camera. Now, everything is correctly linked between AutoVision and the PLC. If I change the count values by interfering with the image, we can also see that the count value changes in the PLC here. This is how simple it is to use Microscan Link to connect a machine vision inspection job to a PLC over Profinet IO.